Hey guys, it's Aaron, a.k.a. Death by Guitar from various forums. And today I'm going to show you what I think is a better, more intuitive way to program drums in Reaper. So first you're going to need to download this zip file that I put up there on the Reaper stash. And uh, I'll show you how to install that real quick. So we're going to go up here and we're going to right-click on Toolbar, go to Customize. We're going to go to Import. And there's our MIDI Toolbar file. Now we're going to go up to the actions list. We're going to import the two custom actions. And it's really just in one file, actually. Yeah, so we got those right there. So now what we have is a way of toggling between drum modes and the piano roll. And my drum mode's a little bit different. So we're in the standard piano roll right now, but I'm going to go ahead and add some note names. Now over here... This is just a standard uh, drum mode, but what I did was make it so you can now just do single clicks instead of dragging in there, because that was a huge pain having to drag notes in. Now, what we can do farther is you can go over here to hide unused and unnamed note rows. So it's only going to show you things that are actually being used in some capacity. Now, let's take all these notes out and hit that again. Now you see here how we just have just a few notes to play around with. So what, let's uh, create a new beat real quick, just do something simple. I'll show you the rest of these buttons in a minute, just, just so you, we can get a good idea of what we're doing here. So we'll put a uh, snare there, right? Nothing too uh, complicated. Okay, so now a couple things I've done, done here. Now, you see how all these notes are at 127 velocity, right? And we can, we can move these... Uh, the velocity is up or down just by hitting these buttons here. This is minus one and plus one. You got minus 10, plus 10. And I have this up there because sometimes when the diamonds are really small, just getting on top of those little handles is kind of is kind of cumbersome, especially if you have a dock or something. This way, just it's just easier and quicker to click it. Uh, you can move notes left to right that way. And we've also got uh, move up or down a semitone. Uh, down or up and octave and clicking right here we'll just go back to the standard piano roll so that's about it um, hopefully this is of some use to you guys I, I know this has definitely sped up my workflow uh, considerably versus just kind of having to click a whole bunch of settings just to get it right where I like it uh, one other variation you can do is now this right here is set to hide unused and unnamed note rows. You could set that to hide unused note rows instead, which is basically just going to display the notes a little differently. In fact, let me do that action instead. So right here, it's only showing you what notes you have put in there. So it, you can just filter it that way. Now you could always go customize the toolbar and swap out that for the other action. Or you could just add it in there. Um, of course, every, pretty much everything in Reaper is customizable, so you can just rip out all these uh, extra buttons that I put there if you don't like them. So uh, that's pretty much it. Um, let me know in the comments if this is anything that's been of any use to you. Um, feel free to subscribe if you're remotely curious to see what I'm going to do with this crap in the future, although realistically, nothing. So thanks for watching.